Hey video transition creators, welcome to today's transition tutorial. In today's Premiere Pro transition tutorial, I'll be talking about zoom in through mirror transition. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. I already have two video clips on the timeline to make this transition. You can use these footages for practice, I'll put the download link in the description. Ok let's move the time indicator to the last frame of the first video. Now right click on this video and select insert frame hold segment. Now it is essential to show you the frame rate of this video which is 60 fps. Frame rate of this sequence is same. Based on this frame rate, I'll change the duration of the whole frame or image and make it 40 frames long. If your sequence is 25 frame rate sequence, then make the duration of the image 16 frames long. Let's go to the playhead position and we can make it 41 frames. Playhead or time indicator position already changed. Take the razor tool and make a cut exactly here. Now go back and select the selection tool. Delete images or videos that we will not use. Now we have to draw a marks inside this mirror. So what we have to do is we have to go to the effect controls and under opacity we take the paint tool. Double click on this name to make it maximum. Now change the zoom level to 150%. So it will be easy for us to draw these marks. As we wanted complete freedom, so we take the pen tool. Now we can draw these marks inside this mirror very carefully. I'm skipping this part so you don't have to wait. Again double click on the program monitor name to get back to our regular layout. Now go to the opacity in the effect controls and set marks feather to 0. Hold down the Alter key on the keyboard and drag this video to the upper layer to make it duplicate. Now make sure that underneath layer is selected then check this inverted. Here is a line it is an issue so let's fix it. First we have to highlight the upper layer of the image or videos then set the max expansion to around 2 in the effect controls. It is ok now. Now we can change the zoom level to fit. If I hide and unhide both of the layers, you can see the upper layer is the inside part of the mirror and the underneath layer is outside part of the mirror. If you don't know how to enable the transparency grid then click on this little setting icon and active transparency grid. Now make sure that upper layer is highlighted then go to the effect controls and I'll add a couple of keyframes of opacity. Click on this little stop watch to add a fast keyframe and move the time indicator at the middle of this layer then add another keyframes with 0. Now right click on the fast keyframe and make it ease out. Click on the last keyframe and make it ease in. So this is the current situation of our transition. Well now select these two layers and nest them together. You can name this after that hit ok. Now move to the effect section and search for transform effect. After find out the transform effect, apply this transform effect to this nested layer. Ok it is time to zoom in this nested layer so move over to the effect controls. Under transform effect we have to add a couple of keyframes of position and scale. Now click stop out of position and scale to add the keyframe at the beginning frame. Now move the time indicator at the last frame of this nested layer and add two keyframes of position and scale. Now increase the scale value and decrease the Y value of the position to adjust this zoom in properly. This is our animation but here is an issue. Beginning part of this animation is faster than the ending part. So let's get fix this issue. First of all we have to ease out of the beginning keyframes. Then we have to ease in ending keyframes. Now click on this arrow icon to expand the position and scale. Now scroll down we can maximum the velocity area. Now it is time to select this influence handle and drag this straight to the right. Now select this influence handle and drag this to the right too. So if I move the time indicator now you can see the animation but it is not ok. So what we have to do is we have to select this keyframe then drag this influence handle straight to the right and again select this influence handle and drag this to the right. If I move the time indicator right now, you will see the problem got fixed. Now again get back to the effect controls and uncheck this, then shutter angle value make it 
60 degree to get natural motion blur effect to this transition. So guys now we have to place this video underneath the nested layer. So this is the beginning part of this video. Now we can place this video underneath this animation. Now if I move the time indicator to the right then you can see the animation or transition. Now it is essential to adjust the underneath layer of the video with the zoom in animation. So double click on this nested layer and select the upper layer. Then check this inverted to hide this layer or you can simply hide this layer directly on the timeline. Now we need to get back to our regular sequence. Now select the underneath layer of the video then move over to the effect controls. Move the time indicator at the beginning frame and add two keyframes of position and scale. Skip a few frames and again set keyframes of position and scale. Now back to the first frames of the video and decrease the scale value. Increase the Y value of the position to adjust this video with the mirror. Now move the time indicator and have a look at program monitor. Our transition is almost done. Now go to the nested sequence and select the upper layer then go to the effect controls and uncheck this inverted to unhide this layer. So this is the final transition, it's a little bit heavy for my system so what we have to do it, we have to render this transition. To render this transition go to the header bar at the top and click on sequence then again click on render into out. I hope you guys enjoy this transition tutorial. You can apply this kind of excellent transition to your cinematic videos. Thanks for watching this Premiere Pro transition tutorial. You can watch other transition tutorials on this channel, links in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video, till then goodbye.